più drei farfalloni amoroso, notte e giorno di torno girano, delle belle trovando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor, delle belle trovando a riposo, ma ci sento a tuo cibo d'amor. I cut off all the ends that I haven't reached on the uh, cutting part. And if there's some brown ones, excuse me, if there's some brown ones on the bottom, just remove them. So here we go. I'm taking all the little tips off. Uh, now what you have to do after you've done that is open up the artichoke. This is where you're going to stuff. You're not, not only going to stuff in the middle, you're going to stuff around the edges. And then you can leave that in if you want, but I find it a little bit not too attractive or edible. So what I do is I take a scissor and I take that middle portion out. There you go. A lot more room for stuffing. Okay, now I'm going to take these and I'm going to rinse them off in the sink and wait for them to drain. Okay, so I have about a quarter of a cup, maybe a little bit more of oil heating up on the stove. Excuse me one second. Now, in order to know if the oil is hot, sometimes you could put a couple of crumbs if it sizzles. That's fine, but also uh, I, I got a tip from, I guess, the Food Network. If you put a wooden spoon in the oil, when the bubble, when it starts to sizzle, that means the oil is hot enough. Right now, the oil is not hot enough, so I'm gonna wait for it to heat up. In the meantime, I wanna show you what I have here. I have four cloves of garlic, finely chopped. I've got like a quarter of a cup of, but when it's chopped, it's more like two tablespoons. I have about, mm, not, about a cup of grated cheese, Lucadella, Pecorino Romano, whatever you want. And I have two cups of plain breadcrumbs. I never buy the seasoned ones. They have a real ranky, I don't know what the hell the word is for it. They have a, a, a weird taste, anyway. And I have here four slices of mozzarella. That's for the end. We're not going to use that now. So let's check and see if the oil is hot enough here. Mm, there it goes. You see those little bubbles there? Can you see those little bubbles there? Alrighty. Well, what I'm going to do is, in this, I'm going to add the parsley. Whoa, it's hot enough, that's for sure. Whoa, mama. And the garlic. And we're gonna saute that. You could, if you don't want to saute the garlic and the parsley, you can just put it in as is. But I find that if I put the garlic and the, and the parsley in the oil, all the flavor comes out in the oil and it just has so much better taste. My personal opinion. So wait a couple of minutes. My stove is all full of oil. It gives me a chance to take a sip of wine. There you go. It's getting there. Now I'm going to add the breadcrumbs and the cheese. Two cups of breadcrumbs. And the grated cheese. Shut the oven off. I mean the stove off. The flame. The flame. You got it. That's my son Arthur. He's the one that's the uh, Spurs fanatic with uh, Timmy Duncan. Can't make a video without his Spurs uh, uh, jersey over there. Otherwise, oh mom, it's sacrilege. So we got to get this really mixed well. If you feel you need a little bit of oil, a little bit more of oil, you can add it in. Because I don't like it, it's a little bit dry. 
I'm just going to add a touch more of oil. If you don't mind. Between the breadcrumbs and the cheese, so maybe three quarters of a cup of oil to a cup. Actually, uh, the artichokes that I'm making are also kind of big, so. Now this is the time you can put a little salt in here. About a teaspoon. I also have the water here prepped for cooking the artichokes and put some salt in the water for the artichokes as well. So after you have this mixed and you cool it off a little bit, then you can stuff the artichokes. Hi. Um, this is the consistency that the breadcrumb should be. This may be a little bit much for the four artichokes, but you know what? This is the same stuffing that you could use as stuffed mushrooms. Only thing is, I would add like part of the mushrooms and I would add some sausage in there. And then you could stuff mushrooms with them and bake them. But it, let's see how far it goes. I've had the artichokes draining here after I've rinsed them. And now I'm gonna stuff them. So you see here, put a good amount in the middle. And then you have to go and try to get, you can't get every leaf, so you know, don't worry about that. But there's a, a great story behind these artichokes that happened in my family. Every time, you know, the kids, kids don't usually eat artichokes. And if they do, what they do is they clean off the leaves and then leave the end. And that's what all the kids would do. And then the grown-ups would say, are you going to eat that end? And they would say, no, I'm not eating it. And then my mother or my aunt or whoever would say, but that's the best part. So as a result, whenever we have artichokes, and somebody leaves the end of the artichoke, we say, are you going to eat the best part? And so they say, no. Then say, okay, I'll eat it. And from then on, I don't, I, as far back as I can remember, we call it the best part. And I love to eat it with a piece of Italian bread. Or some people just salt it up and eat it that way. But it truly is the best part. And this is how your stuffed artichoke should look. And then you can throw a little bit more on later. So you take the artichoke and you place it in about an inch or so of water. Make sure the pot is going to fit all of your artichokes. So this is, so this, I made sure that this is, these four will fit in that pot. Okay, so I have the four artichokes here stuffed as best I could. I put uh, about an inch of water in the pot and I put a teaspoon of salt in the water and we're gonna cook these for about 45 minutes. Wait for the water to boil and then put it on low to medium. We don't want the water in the pot to evaporate. If you check on it and you see the water is starting to evaporate and the artichokes aren't done yet, add a little bit more water. So you put the cover on it and wait for it to come to a boil. And then at 45 minutes, but I'll show you then, when the artichokes are done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a slice of mozzarella on each artichoke, put the cover back on and just cook it for another couple of minutes so the mozzarella will melt. Okay, so the artichokes are done. I'm going to put the mozzarella on each one of them. They're kind of tipping over a little bit, so I want to get this done as soon as possible. And then just wait like, I don't know, you see, if you have a see-through pot like this here, you can see when it's melted. So just wait till it's melted, and then when that's melted, you can take them out of the pot. Okay, so they're done. And this is how you eat. I don't know if anybody's ever showed you how to eat it. You take a leaf. And you scrape the insides off. And the scrumptious, scrumptious filling is like 
heaven. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little falling apart, but, and it's hot. Mmm. Some people dip it in like an olive oil and garlic and an aioli, and you can do that, but it's not really necessary. It's so flavorful and so delicious right now. And sometimes if you want to, you can stick a piece of brazout in there, which I do on occasion, but doesn't really need it. So, I can't wait to finish this with my glass of wine and my artichokes. Probably going to be my dinner tonight. And I'll have the best part with a piece of bread. Who's better than me? I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I hope you enjoy making the artichokes. And until the next video, happy holidays. Bye.